told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain I'm Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching full take After using oneplus 9rt on the Oxonus 12 Android 12 base ROM Finally the day came oneplus made available new open beta 1 Oxonus 13 Android 13 base run new update As you seen in the intro this new update of Oxonus 13 is complete overall of new user interface animations, bunch of the new features and the amazing performance with the fluidity. As per my experience, after update you will feel you are running new Ferrari with the up-to-date Adrenaline engine. To flash this Oxonus ROM, your device must be on the latest Oxonus 12C07 build. Video regarding that is given in iCard. Download the ROM from the link given under the video description or you can use the Oxonus Updater application. Here you will get the full change log of new Oxonus update. Download the update zip, place it in the root of the storage, check its extension, it must be in the .zip format. Now go to the about phone and in the version section, tap 8 times on the build number and this will enable the developer option. Now go to the about phone, tap on the OT update section, there go to the 3 dot menu. Now select the local install and locate your downloaded file from the storage. Once selected, system will verify the update and it will show you the details as this is the Oxonus 13 Android 13. Tap on the extract and after completion of extraction, tap install. Phone will reboot and starts the flashing. Today in this video, we will see full review of the new OTA, all the important features, performance and the bugs. Video will be lengthy but watch it till the end because I covered all the points. So you can decide whether to update or not. So without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure Flashing is completed, phone booted with the complete new setup of new OTA. Immediately after booting to the launcher, you will see this is the complete new user interface similar to the ColorOS. But don't feel sad, you can check in this video how this material themed ColorOS based on Oxygen OS looks very good. Now first let's jump to the about phone, here on the top you will see this is the new Oxonus 13 official version and if you tap on it, it will show you you are on the Oxonus 13 Android 13 with the build number F07. In the version section, you can see this is the Android 13 with the new Android 13 easter egg. Security patch is of September 2022, build number is 07 with the old kernel 5.4.174. Now let's check out the full change log of new Oxonus 13. First is the new aquamorphic design of user interface. In terms of OnePlus, this new design is aquamorphic design with the themes and animations for the visual comfort and to make it vivid natural. Update comes with the quantum animation engine 4.0. The first change that we get in the user interface is that the new volume panel with the new design with the sound and vibration control shortcuts embedded in the setting. It has a new vertical power menu as you can check on the screen. Completely change a quick setting panel with the Android 13 like quick access styles for the Wi-Fi, media player, Bluetooth devices, etc. ROM has the new shape that we will discuss in the detail in the next part of the video. In the new update, most like part for me is that fully implemented Monet theming for the Oxon OS which was missing in the Oxonus 12. Here we get the wallpaper and style setting under the main setting of device. Here we get the wallpaper based on Monet theming and it's working in almost all the applications and in overall system. In the icon setting we get the fully working theme by icons for the home page dock and the application drawer in the launcher. Some status bar icons are now changed like DND mode, network signals, etc. This icon I didn't like too much as I like simple Oxonus like icons. Settings apps UI changed here, we get something like one UI and dual tone look. Overall in the ROM we get the different user interface animations from the swiping down the quick setting panel, using recent panel, application opening, all are extremely smooth, 
and fast with the implementation of new quantum engine 4.0 by OnePlus and it's actually filling in every touch. Now let's check out the new features. First is the new enlarge folder on the home screen. In this we can scroll and check all the folder application available and can be opened in the one click by one by one and can be get back to the home screen without going anywhere in the system. ROM comes with the new always on display. It has lots of new additions. First is the contextual information. This will now show you the music playback trips and the food delivery notifications along with the date, time and the notification of applications. We need to enable the toggle for the same but this is currently supported to the limited applications like Spotify etc. We can add more animated things like the design on the AOD screen now which looks cool. We can also use the bit emojis and the animated weather icon set. New canvas AOD is also now a lot improved. It has the new futuristic additions. New built-in media control playback is now available in the quick setting panel. It's similar to the Android 13 but more refined version. We can quickly switch between the songs and can change the media outputs also. We can also disconnect the devices too. New screenshot menu has been markup option where you can add the written text or the lines. This is the new shape. Now access process for self has been changed. We can access it by swiping down from the middle of the home screen and can use the notification and quick setting panel by traditional way of swiping from the top of the display. New shelf has the new global scout search option at the top. Now screencast is more optimized which casts the content automatically by adapting the target screen. New OT has the optimized earphone connectivity to deliver the more seamless experience. Device can automatically detect the connected Bluetooth devices and gives us the seamless software updates for the devices, which are the part of Oppo and OnePlus. Like here, I am using the Oppo Echno M31. Some security feature has been added, like the clipboard copied content regularly clean up for the privacy protection. Update comes with the advanced encryption standard to encrypt all the files for the enhanced security of the private files. Some additional features are implemented in the special feature tab of settings like kid space this one for the restricting the child for using the smartphone too much and for the specific uses of applications like by adding the specific applications in the kid space with the timer we can easily later unlock this setting using the three dot menu setting next is the smart sidebar here we can add the multiple application in the sidebar of the device it can be accessible by swapping from the left or the right corner as per your setting here are the bunch of the settings available to tune the opacity and the position of sidebar. You can open this application as a multi-window when you open any sidebar application while using another application. You can also use this application as a split window by dragging the application directly in the center of the screen while using any currently running application. Some different split gestures has been added in the ROM which helps us to open the device in a split screen or as a multi-window mode. Like if you swipe the three finger gestures from the bottom to the center of the screen, who gets the notification on the top of the display to open the app as a multi-window application. Or place it at the top of the screen and then open any application, it will be opened in the split screen. Simple mode is another setting that will be displayed the text and the icons bigger for the easier reach and understanding. In additional setting, who gets the active ball gesture control. Here one floating ball can be used as a gesture control for the different activities like opening recents, back gesture and turning off the screen and many more. One privacy setting has been added like hiding content in the recents panel if the app recents screen containing the sensitive information like bank details, phone numbers or the profile pictures. So these are all the features we discussed. Now let's check out the performance of the new build. As I already told the ROM is super smooth. Everything is gliding on the fingertip. When I ran the Geekpen stage, that time the temperature was high ranging from the 40 to 45 degrees Celsius and I got the score of 820 and 3000 for the single core and the multi core respectively without the performance mode. Later I cooled down the device and enabled the performance mode in the battery advanced setting. Then I got 1046 and 2943. Here we guess only improvement in the single core performance. For the open gel, we got the score of 4698 while on the Hulkan graphics I got the score of 5611. So all the scores are pretty well and in real life performance of the device is also amazing irrespective of numerical results of the Geekbench. I think OnePlus clocked down the performance to maintain the CPU throttling this time. So I got very good score of 92% of CPU throttling after running the test for the 5 minutes on the 20 threads on the performance mode of the device. 
So all the points of the change log has been discussed along with the performance. Now let's see the bugs that are seen in the new OTA. If you try to boot the device in a fast boot mode, device didn't boot in a fast boot. This time OnePlus once again removed the fast boot so you can't use the flashing ROM via fast boot mode. Some bugs that are officially confirmed by the OnePlus present in the open beta are eye comfort mode can't be activated in the some scenarios but I did not face such issues. After switching the system dynamic wallpapers, the time on the lock screen is displayed abnormally. This bug also didn't seen by me. Maybe these are the occasional bugs occur suddenly. Except this, until now I didn't seen any other bugs like some users reported for the fingerprint unlock animation flickering in the third party applications. But if I get any bugs related to these, then I will definitely mention that in the comment section. Battery life still not tested for this OTA. I need to test the battery performance at least for the three days. Then I will post results via community post. This is all about the new Oxon OS 13 Android 13 build for the OnePlus 9 RT. Though this build is a mixture of color OS based features and some user interface elements, but the addition of new enriched text, aquamorphic design, quantum animation engine with the fully working monet theming and fluid performance. I can say this is the real deal to forget the minor UI difference between the color OS was Oxygen OS and to use this new era of Oxygen OS. If you still want to downgrade, I have given the downgrade package in the video description, flash it as shown in the iCard video. Remember this will erase all your data. That's it for today guys. If you think I help you throw the review video of this new Oxygen OS 13 build for the 9RT, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.